quicker and that's a proper recovery job that. Uh, I'll just pass the police for before so they can deal with that. Right, well we're here, a uh, bit of a drive. Uh, it snowed a lot and England being England, as soon as a bit of snow comes out, no one can remember how to drive. So, uh, unfortunately, it's a lot of uh, more tops and country lanes uh, where it's quite undulating and you know you, you're going over and under hills and round corners and stuff and there's people freaking out and they've been driving like 15 mile an hour but then they bunch up like idiots so you can't get past them so yeah it's been a long old drive to go not that far so this should be interesting now because uh, I don't know how churned up the ground is because it's all it's all fields and whatnot that I've got to go over uh, but the snow over the top of it so it's been a lot of rain so we might do a, a recovery video There we go, so just got in now, it's firing up, uh, we're already up to 9 degrees, uh, I don't think it's overly cold in here anyway because uh, everything's still warm, I've just spent the last 3 hours driving here so I've been by the fire for an hour so there's still some residual heat, that's kicking in, uh, just getting the bed made now, as soon as it gets warm I can uh, get stripped off and get in bed. Good morning, so we got here, um fairly late on, it took about three hours to do 70 miles. Uh, the first bit, hammered down the motorway, not a problem. Uh, then the snow started and the, the problem is for where I'm at, there's no direct way, so you've got to like bit and bob across the country. And uh, it took me over the top of the moors, which was shut, uh, interestingly. Uh, come to the first road close sign, thought, ah, bit sketchy, I'll go the other way. Got to the second road close sign, and uh, checked on the map, and there was no other way. You, by the point, by the time I got to that point, it was just the moorland. So it was one of them ones where I would have had to backtrack quite a bit, and I was already like two hours plus into a 70 mile drive. So you can imagine how uh, frustrated I was. Uh, I'd already passed a couple of stranded uh, Arctic lorries, and multiple old people freaking out about driving in the snow, doing the usual five to 10 mile an hour on a straight, <laughs> road in the snow so went past them um yeah look looked on the map i mean this is technology it's, it's a beauty in it you just shrink it down you can see the route and all the rest of it uh could see a couple of lights in the distance so there was someone already over there moving still so i thought i sod it went around the cones absolutely fine there was a few it's the downhills i'm not overly keen on with it being an auto and, and quite heavy but you can lock it down in uh, in first gear and it's it's absolutely fine uh, and she handled it well. Uh, you wouldn't think it was that good in the snow, but I'm assuming, just total assumption, that because it's quite heavy, it's planted down into the snow. Uh, downside is, I bet when once I break traction, I'm doomed, like, but handled it lovely, handled it really, really well. So uh, I had an hour by the fire with the lads, and uh, what do you call it, then just kicked the heater on and jumped in bed. Uh, I need to sort my life out in here because I've been working on it. I've been working away all week and I was going to get everything, all the tools out and everything like that, um, sort it all out. But we're working away. It's one of them ones I've come back and uh, just chucked me shopping in, chucked a few bits in and uh, set off. So, yeah, it's a mess in here. <laughs> <sighs> I think everyone's playing the uh, hibernation game where uh, everyone lays in bed waiting for movement off of everybody else. <laughs> I've opened the door a couple of times and there is no movement, but uh, I don't think I'd want to be first up and lighting the fire, so <laughs> it's now 10 o'clock and I'm enjoying being in my nice warm cocoon. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I've got um, a bit bigger frying pan in here. What I've done is all the group stuff I've put under the bed in the garage section. Uh, and all the single stuff I've just put where I'm going to use it but I'm hoping I've got a big enough pan and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start banging out some sausages and stuff and uh, I'll start knocking on people's doors with uh, a hot kettle and a, a tray of sausages hopefully If you're into the uh, outdoorsy stuff and you haven't got a ridge monkey there's something wrong with you 
because these are a right bit of kit and there's newer ones since this one so, uh, I got Stu the mini one and there's also a bigger one than this with uh, different compartments in it uh, and I think now they do like a fancy storage stacker system so you can get like a cup, a plate, some cutlery, you cook a thing all in one and even a burner so I'm going to have to have a look at that to hopefully the big at some shows or something like that and, uh, oh it is, it's a, it's a toasty maker got your little utensils inside it and that's it, boom Well, this has made many a sausage. There we go, they're on. What I do with these is to cook them a little bit better. I nip the thing shut. Then, when it gets going, I just flip the thing over and just keep moving them around, keep flipping it over. Right, not been paying much attention to this, but I've got the sausages there, they're nearly ready. Uh, <clears throat> got a, little, a single leg on the go, I love this pan it was from like B&M or one of the cheapo shops and it just works, it's enough for one so I've just given Martin a text and uh, I think he's going to come over for into Milan Rover for a, a good sausage so hopefully he'll get that down his neck and he'll enjoy it <laughs> I'm in the rape dungeon! I'm not trying to do anything special. I'll let Rip Studio all that shit. Simple. Scrap. Oh, I do fancy one of these on the cab on the lorry. Or, I think, because I've got a roof rack, I, th I think that should have a roof front. I don't know why, you should just have one. Right, so what we're doing now, we're getting, um, Mark's got access to a lot of this um, pallet wood. So he takes it home from work, smashes it up, brings it here, saves us cutting too many trees down. Then that burns quite quickly with it being soft wood. So what he's doing now, there's a, a, a fallen tree. It were down last time we came up with, we got that much pallet wood, we didn't bother. So he's, he's logging that now. So it just prolongs the fire a little bit longer because we're going to be burning a little bit more because it's, it's really, really cold. So it's one of them ones. Uh, a lot of people pissed and moaned about the state of the rock last time because we made it a little bit black. Uh, this is going to be a camp for quite some time. And uh, if, if you're not noticed, we couldn't even get in this bit last time we came here. As you can see now, we're actually clearing back a lot of this stuff that's taking over. So we are improving the woodland. So if, if you don't like us fucking putting a bit of soot on a rock, it's one of them ones. Don't watch the videos because clearly you're not happy with anything in life. Grow up. I'm thinking, I don't know why, but the tint's been taken off the top row of the windows. Uh, I want that, that retinted again because if you're looking over there, I've got the truck blending quite well, but that stands out like a bloody sore thumb. Good idea that to get the rain off. You thought about getting a battery drill on that? Ah, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it on an eight. Uh, drill. Get it all out. Right, so Stu's just prepping his area now. He's, um, he's going to do like a prepper style uh, jerk turkey in pie and rice. Uh, pie and rice? Can't get my words out today. Pea and rice. Uh, so he's just setting all his gear up now. He's doing, um, apart from the turkey, everything else is just out of a prep box. So it's something you can have in your vehicle, something you can have that's nice, uh, but you're not having to go to the shops all the time. So it's just an option for on your longer trips or bugging out or whatever you want to do. Of all the knives, Stu, you got like a Tesco's pink knife. 
<laughs> yeah, I could write do with a Wessex blade cleaver. <laughs> nudge, nudge. <laughs> So, as predicted, it's thawed, it's turned to mud. Cattle have been on here as well, so, yeah. Right, so the plan is now, uh, we're gonna struggle getting up that hill in the morning. So we're gonna hope that it freezes tonight. And if it is frozen ground in the morning, uh, we're gonna get up early, get the vehicles to the top if we can, and then come back down and have breakfast. Give your meat a good old rub. Yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put in here very lazy chilli, followed by lazy garlic. Then in goes the, the uh, bean salad. In will go thyme, paprika, and Cajun spice. Uh, then the coconut milk will go in and then the rice. I'm going to do it in two hits because I'm going to cook half of that and half the rice in, in a wanna. This is Bear grills for you. You don't trust a man that puts people on an island for fun. <laughs> You got a more bushcrafty one on you, yeah, did you say? Yeah. I've got one in the motor. Yeah, I'll be two seconds. Wait. <laughs> Get the angle right. Come on, Lee. Bear Grylls is better than this. <laughs> Everyone's depending on you, Lee. We're going to die to hypothermia. I'll go in the motor. I'm getting fucking West Key fucking pot fire still. And uh, a little bit of an while we're out in the freezing cold, shout out to big boy Frank from Texas. I bet you don't have miserable, damp, back aching weather like this. <laughs> Stu. Stu. Yeah. I come bearing gifts. I come bearing gifts from the dry side of the tree. You went to the dry side of the tree? Yeah. I thought it was made of cheese. No, I prefer it moist, but yeah. Oh, oh. Do you want some dry stuff? <laughs> Sue. I think this is going to go. But thank you. From the dry side of the tree. Mark, Mark just stand on it so he has to use it. Yeah, Mark, you saved us. We're all going to die. <laughs> I couldn't have got my blowtorch out of my landing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blowtorch, ah. Oh. It's a great job. What's your mate, Stu? <laughs> oh, yes. I am the god of hellfire. And after, I bring after, you after take donuts. fucking 72. <laughs> right, the question is, do I do like a whole outtake section of all the fire lighting or do we look like YouTube professionals like everyone else edits? No, no, we, it took forever to get that going, but look, it's, there's snow on the ground and it's wet. 
and was trying to be all just use birch bark. <laughs> oh, I saw you go disappearing through there, and then the dog went after you. I thought. Try to lose a few rounds in the air, isn't it? <laughs> He'll come and get his dog, won't he? Yeah. If that's copyrighted, I'm going to stab you. <laughs> <laughs> With a spoon. Is it going to be rusty? Singing. Go away, go away. He's singing me and I was like, I was like, that was nice. He's like, Radio 2, bro. <laughs> Turn it on. <laughs> it wasn't actually that bad, actually. Kept me going. Who knew Stu would be such a BBC fan? Mm. It's because he's conservative. But Stu, how, how dare you listen to Radio 2 when you won't pay the TV licence, man? <laughs> <laughs> Has he ever come back since you chased him down the stairs? No, he has not. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I love video, I'm going to see if I can find that footage. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think he told all his friends in the detector van? <laughs> the detector vans. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I don't think he'll be coming back. <laughs> oh, dog's off with the wheel off, his shit's mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fogging up in here now. Um, it's freezing outside, so I've dived back in. I'm running my vehicle for uh, half an hour now. Uh, just get some back charge back in the batteries. Uh, stuck the kettle on and got the Ridge Monkey going again. I'm going to do some turkey burgers. Uh, pretty much anything that you've got in your freezer or anything like that. Uh, anything microwavable, you can bang them in these and uh, yeah, oh, we are fogging up some house. So yeah, that's what we're on with. Chicken burgers. Oh, there we go. Chicken, uh, chicken burger. A bit pissy, but it's warm food in a cold day. If you're liking the um, van lifey kind of camper van stuff. Definitely one to check out is uh, Mark. Uh, it's um, houseless, not homeless. He's uh, he lives in his van full time, and he, he just buggers off all over the place because do, does a bit of kayaking, lives off grid every now and again, does a bit of work, just odds and ends. It's the uh, NATO green. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. It's a, I think it's a Vauxhall or something like that. But anyway, he gets it all over the place. Definitely want to have a look at, and he's uh, he's a funny guy as well. So yeah, check him out. How oh, do engineers start fires? Like this. Chicken. Silly. Silly. It's silly sausage. Flame grilled. Silly sausage. I love the silly sausage. Oh, lo he loves touching my silly sausage. He's way more fun to wind up when he's getting slightly hungry. Definitely. <laughs> we need to get on them, you know, bandoliers that's that go across you just covered in Snickers. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> Keep <chucking laughs> Snickers in his angry face. <laughs> that one. Have a Snickers stew. Do you reckon we could get him that blue dress there with the advert that the guy's wearing? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was more of a Mr. Bean Ninja. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the second one, isn't it? Yeah, so I uh, got tagged on Instagram for my EDC gear. Uh, show it all. I'm not much, I've got a lot of kit, but I'm not much of an EDC person. I've never been into it, but I am coming round to it slowly. Uh, a lot of the kit I carry is in, say, a bag that's in my Land Rover or in my van or wherever I'm going. If I'm going far from the vehicle, I tend to take the bag rather than having pockets full of gear. Uh, the items that I do have uh, is when I'm in city centres, I have the 590 tactical shotgun. No, I really don't. Um, just basically, car keys. On the car keys, I've got the LED lenser. Um, torch, that was a, a trade for doing a bit of work. Uh, I've got the Outlaw Bushcraft ferro rod and his little leather tab and a little striker on that with a little multi-tool on it and that, that's about it for the keys. Uh, me, the, the torch I use more than anything else is on my phone because it's, it's always to hand isn't it so I've got the Ontario Knife Company uh, knife. I've had this one for quite a long time uh, it's had some right abuse, unfortunately, I've snapped the tip off it, so I'm going to be replacing this, but what I would really like is I'm going to get the um, SOG, the black SOG multi-tool, because I like the, the cam on it. Uh, it's a very, very strong knife. The only downside is, the reason I like this one, is it's a one-handed open, and uh, that is very handy when you're at work and you just need to, to use it. Uh, then other than that, if I do need more light, 
it's a uh, little cheap eBay torch. Uh, it does everything it says on the tin. Uh, it's, it is what it is. It's not a high-end torch or anything, but it produces light and it produces light well for a, a cheap price. If I lose it, there's, there's no big, big issue with it or anything. Uh, so yeah, I'm sure there is better torches and knives and things out there, but these are working for me at the minute. So I was asked uh, what, what do we drink because I have cracking food and stuff, but what else do we drink? Uh, well today, so you're the same as me aren't you, you like your fruit ciders as well when it's yep. warm. Uh, I like my craft beers, I've yep. got uh, Brewdog Elvis Juice. Elvis Juice? Elvis Juice, it's, made, uh, it's grapefruit, in, grapefruit in, infused and uh, yeah I, I, do, I do like my craft beers. I've got a, a Smith's, uh, just just middle of the day, I don't want to be uh, getting drunk all right now, uh, but as a choice I'll probably have uh, either vodka or a nice rum, like uh, Kraken or something like that. I don't know which one, sorry, it's just down there behind you. It's yeah. organic and everything. Mark for breakfast likes uh, a nice breakfast red wine, wine. <laughs> breakfast wine, and um, for dinner he likes <laughs> nice a cider. Gentleman cider, actually. Gentleman cider Gentleman for dinner. Cider. What do you have on an evening? On an evening? Uh, pint of vodka, dash of lemonade. <laughs> Mark's a functioning alcoholic. <laughs> That's why he gets on well with Stu. <laughs> way of the world, my friend. You still out function people that aren't drinking, though. <laughs> yeah, but you know why you shouldn't drink water, right? It's because water rust pipes. Imagine when they shit those through insides. That's why you drink alcohol, because alcohol sterilises. It means you don't get sick so often. Was that what John Smith used to be? They used to use this for washing floors, didn't they? Probably. No, back, back in, was it Edwardian times? Yeah. They, used, they used to use stuff like this to, to scrub floors. But they couldn't, they couldn't fucking drink water, could they? That's the thing. No, water was too dirty back then, yeah. wasn't it? So you used to drink Everybody beer, drink ale. Yeah. Yeah, fair one. So, um, we've got a, a, a moped gang <laughs> member <laughs> from London with us. What are you drinking? Cider. Is that is that the choice of the Apex gangs these days? It is. <laughs> yes. and, fight. and what's your EDC? I got a machete. Key rings. <laughs> lift key. A lift key. Just show the lift key because that is a very very handy thing to have. That's because you're in an urban area, boy. You need that in case you get stuck in a lift. Yeah. That opens a lift door whether the lift's functioning or not. You can get into lift shafts with that. Uh, you'll also find that will open, uh, I think it's the same size as gas box, it's, and yeah. some loft hatches, uh, it'll yeah, do that one. Right, yeah, that's right, You've got your little light on there, haven't you? Got a torch. Yeah, so you've got illumination. Show them what that does, because it lights up if you pull it, doesn't it? So you've got a glow. Awesome, yeah. Can't be that, so. £20, yeah. Have you seen that? And do you, yeah, I, I had one at work for a while, but then I kept spending the £20. <laughs> <laughs> Gerber dime that is. I'll go for the wrong end, boy. Yeah. Okay. That's a cool little thing. Mini mini multi tool. I've got something similar. And he's on the traveller fighting juice as well. <laughs> when you, when <laughs> you oh, make sure he's, he's gonna have a drink, he has organic. When you drink the bottle you can smash him when he wins. Yeah, which is already shown one of them. Yeah, and uh, another cheap and cheerful eBay torch. They do the job though, don't they? Yeah. Dead. He's like a Swiss Army man, he's got stuff coming out of everywhere. Oh yeah, I've got them turned off. I've got that one with him when we're out doing our stuff. Seat it's got the seatbelt cutter on it. Yeah. He's also, you got the, your... the thing is, you can't d knock having a seatbelt cutter after you've been rammed and your land ended right. up on its side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that day, that day, boy, isn't it? What makes that? What do you mean? What make is it? Victronix. Yeah, Swiss Army. Swiss Army knife. Yeah. Victronix. That's it. Very nice. And, uh, Lee just brings his dog. <laughs> 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 he just fetches him stuff at random. He's, he's the only dog I know that brings firewood. And then looks at you like you, you just stabbed it when you put the wood on the fire. <laughs> And uh, I'm sure you've noticed the uh, the grill off the back wheel of me, no matter. Ken, are you winding your dad up again? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? TV license officer. I'd <laughs> <laughs> be good at running. <laughs> Thank you.
Rich, what's the verdict? Can white men jerk? <laughs> <laughs> white man can't jerk. <laughs> no, this is beautiful. This is, I can't place what it tastes like, but it's really, really nice. To say like this is, apart from the turkey, you wouldn't know that this was all packet food. You, this, this, this would work with any meat. Yeah. You could chew anything and make a spanking meal. I bet you could make spam taste good like this. <laughs> well, spam don't taste bad, but you could make it special. It's a woman's not being all day. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's hot, right? Good though, real good. Cheers, bro. We're going to have to have a tactical camp to show people know what we're doing, won't we? No, we can, we, <laughs> we, we can do a tactical camp, but there'll be not much footage because we'll be covert. It's just going to be a black screen. I'll just put a picture of a shrub on. <laughs> yeah, we, here we camped. <laughs> Same tree. 15 minute long video just staring at one tree. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a prize for spot the ninja. I, I, I'd have filmed that bit, you probably didn't hear it because we weren't talking, because we were in covert. <laughs> we had a great meal, but you, you couldn't see it. It's all camouflaged. <laughs> seen that one of the guy wearing the camo top and the high vis trousers. It's like, bruh, do you want to be seen or not? <laughs> <laughs> This week on Bug Out Vehicles UK, we're bullying Lee. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's reacted to something. He's reacted to some piss taking. So now, now that's it. Everybody's just like, it's like a shark attack. <laughs> the first shark have just like nicked him a little bit, but then they all smelt blood. So then they just started circling and circling and circling. He's fucked. Rich, I think, I think it's because we started condensing you. <laughs> 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 this will be the building's character or he'll be a school shooter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Come tell us your story. Fuck you! <laughs> oh. Stu, he you. burnt me, he cut he's, me he's, deep. He's going to walk away from the fire and he's going to say, I'm just going for a piss. <laughs> I'll never see him again. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to walk out into the <laughs> <laughs> Burns well, don't you? You see why it's just in the mirror. It's appealing. It's not the first and it's not the last time that's going to happen. Oh, they no, no, check on that really well. <laughs> Good morning. So, Sunday morning, and uh, oh, that fire was incredible last night. It's bitter cold this weekend, and uh, there was a dead tree that started getting cut up last time we came, but we had so many pallets, we, we just left it too. And uh, it had frozen solid, so we didn't really, we thought it'd be one of those ones, you know, where it just smoulders and smoulders and smoulders, and it, it took going. And it didn't all burn straight away, it were um, like Survival Russia, you know when he does the, the log that lasts him all night, it was like that one. And uh, I put money on if I went round there now and get a bit of attention, it'd, it'd relight straight away. But anyway, that, that were lovely, because that were, we all got sat round, and it was raining every now and again, but with it being so warm, we were drying straight away, so we just didn't bother putting a tarp up or anything like that, and it was still nice. Uh, nice and warm on your face and everything, so yeah enjoyed that so sunday morning now kettle's on i'm just going through some comments uh on the last video so just uh really want northern monkey here he's always on there reaper reaper never misses a thing sound guy big boy frank i can i never know how to pronounce this this surname tell me if i'm wrong david it's uh, david gen genthner jr genthner I'm the worst at reading now anyway, so... <laughs> uh, new one that always comments. Rune Stainson Christofferson. Chris, Chris, Christofferson. 
that's a cool name that. Welsh Bear Bushcraft, Robert Watson, Ken Allen. Ken Allen, Ken Allen has been following for years, years and years. Uh, shout out to Bushcrafting, uh, Bushcrafting Fishing with the, the Pikey. Gary Beard, Gary Beard's been on there for ages. What else we got? High Wild Woodsman, yeah, Andy. Brendan Allen's been on for years. What else we got? Woe Slight. Have a look at Woe Slight's channel. Have a look down in the comments of the um, the older videos and like we Woe Slight's into his uh, radio gear and stuff like that. And uh, he's got his own uh, woodland and everything. He goes down there, does his bits and stuff. Interesting guy. What else have we got over here? Uh, Moon Bear. Moon Bear's been on there for ages. Land Rover Prepper, they put stuff on the Facebook group as well. Over in Ireland. Wing San, sound guy. Wow, there's loads. Dusty, you miserable old sod. <laughs> oh dear. Dermot Leeson. Wow, there's quite a few. This is, I'm not going to go on. This is like three minutes of me just reading names out. <laughs> but yeah, I do read them. The lads read them. And uh, appreciate your comments because, like I say, whether you give a thumbs up, a thumbs down, or a comment, it does boost the channel. It really does. Um, especially on the first few days of the video coming out. So if, you, if you're watching this and you haven't already given me a, a thumbs up, down, or a comment, if you won't mind it, it's, uh, it's appreciated. <laughs> it's, uh, and it, it boosts the channel and it's, you know... So it's one of them things, it, it goes both ways. I spend the time making the videos and editing them, so yeah, appreciate it. Is he a grouchy, grumpy monster this morning? As soon as I got the camera out, he shut that door again because we could see him struggling. You can still see a bit of movement through that tinted window. And I can't tell if he's folding his bed away or having an angry wank. My money's on angry wank. <laughs> Oh, I've got to look through the window and put him off. <laughs> oh, will he like that? Is his light on? I've <laughs> oh, got the uh, Retro 80 Cup as well. Focus. He's in these. Cool, cool camping mugs. Right, so some bacon sausages gonna get some beans and eggs on the go uh, what we're looking at doing now uh, this, this. anything just to warm the beans up pal <laughs> um, I don't think we're gonna get through the farmyard to get out it's just totally rutted up it's where they've had all the cows and they've congregated in areas so when you come to do a 90 degree turn you've got no momentum so we're looking up on the corner of that hill it's uh, quite a steep hill but it's constant so we're just gonna get a hell of a run up and uh, just try and hit it as fast as we can so it's got two chances um, I've got enough food to last us out so we might just end up staying is that you happy now? I'm happy bunny alright bugger off now next <laughs> <laughs> sausage bacon beans with some more bacon I'm going to be the one to make his eggs So let's go wreck you this uh, this way out then. Let's hope we can get out. I've had a massive dump so I'm, I'm confident we're gonna get up the hill. <laughs> that's, that's the camp down there. He's not going for it, is he? No, I think he's moving his tent around so I can pack up.
there we go, all the rubbish taken out. I'm sure someone's gonna get emotional, there's a bit of soot on a rock. But like I've said before, you couldn't even get in here before we came. So now we've got usable woodland. Next time I come down, we're gonna clear down and into there and get all that brush out and try and get some of this out as well. We're gonna leave some of it, but it's just overtaken, so it needs addressing. Right, so we're up to the top field now with half the vehicles and uh, we've found a bit drier route so Mark's coming back down to get his trailer now because he left his up on the road last night when he went out Whew, just to push this out by hand I can hear him yeah. oh. Honey. 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 